What would happen? What would you predict would happen? Okay, so if you're not actually going to do it, you're just going to predict what you think would happen. You got one and a half minutes. This is ABCD. And then this is ABCD. No, but is he asking us to slap both of them? He's asking us to slap both of them. Then it would still be the same. Okay, close your books. Okay, so I'm looking at some stuff here, and group three. You guys think that you guys said that when you slant the sides of ABCD prime, that the area stays the same and so does the length of the sides, but the angles change. Yes. Why do you think that's true? Because um, if you slant it, it's not like anything going to change with the length or the measurements or anything, except for the angles, because you're changing how the how the sides meet up. Like you're changing the way the sides meet up to the slant. Oh no, you have something to add? Um, I have a question. Do you mean like literally slanting the shape or just slanting the image? I, like, like instead of like, okay, if you take this right, they're both squares. If you angle it like that, does that mean what? It's a good question. Mean, like, it's a good question. I mean, just slanting the sides. So we're slanting oh, okay. it from square to a parallelogram, parallel right? Um, Okay, so he says nothing's going to change with the angles, Kim? Um, but I thought if you slant it, then the area is going to change because there's not going to be as much units. Wait. Yes, the perimeter is going to change. Oh, yeah, the perimeter. No, 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 the perimeter is going to change. No, I thought the area is going to change. Can you show us up there? So we can do A and C, so just grab C. We can't grab, well, does B move? I thought it was just A and C. Does B move? Oh, B can move. Okay, try it out. I don't know. I don't think B moves. You can, you can do it with A or C. Whoa. Okay, we just leave it right there. So what does that mean? The area change can change. Like, because we um, slanted the, we slanted the edges so much that the area is smaller than how it was earlier because the angles are smaller and so the area became smaller. Did you measure the area? Yes. You can't measure, you're not allowed to measure the area. I set it up so that you're not allowed to measure the area. Yeah, what? You can't always put it. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, we got questions out there. Okay, let me see. Um, there is a way to measure the area and we use that. 
And I think that if you did that on the area, you would still find that it's one unit square. How did you measure the area? I used the formula. But, um, well, this is really but this one, it doesn't, I don't think it all, that formula always works to find area. It does. Because it's the formula. It's made so that it will always work. So, so, so what she's saying is that, so you're, you're still, you're saying, what's the formula again? Uh, length times width. So you're saying that the length times the width for this parallelogram will give us an area that's the same as the area for this square. Hold on. Let's all soak that in for a second. It's base times height, not length times width. It's the same. No, 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 no. Watch. Can I come up? Height. So it would be. It would be from here to here. Height is not from here to here. Okay, but still, if we move, we start to this much. Does that still mean this times this would equal? Same area. No. Because it doesn't have any area right now. No, oh, I mean, for this. Oh, it does have a lot of space in between. But it's. Yeah, but. It would be It's just a straight line. For the shape like this, it would be from here to here. Not here. Yeah. But.